you tried them and they worked. I tried them and God damn. Oh man, they work. I had fucking super veiny. Ass was so fucking hard. I tried to put the needle in my ass and fucking bent. The fucking needle bent. My ass was that fucking hard. And they'll hear that. And that will be the end of it. And those kids will rush out and they'll fucking want to try to get them some of this because they, they will not hear that it made me fucking insane. They won't hear that part. They will not hear that I want to murder fucking people at a stoplight for looking in my fucking car too long. They won't hear that part. They won't hear that at the time I was married and my wife that I was married to was five fucking minutes late getting home. They won't hear that I was pacing up and down the fucking driveway waiting for her to get to that house so I could fucking kill her. They won't fucking hear that part. They'll just hear that he took it and oh man, it worked. That's, that's all they'll hear. So I don't talk about that experiment because I, I fucking tried it out because I want it. People want, they promised me that I could be the next Arnold Schwarzenegger. I could be the next Robbie Robbie. I could be on the cover of those magazines. And when you are a youngster, you hear somebody tell you something like you can say, oh, I turn it down. I wouldn't. No way I would do it. You're a fucking lie. But first of all, ain't nobody going to make that fucking offer to you. They're not going to make that. They don't make it to every fucking body. I had 20 inch arms that didn't know what the fucking steroid was. They're not going to make you that offer. So you don't know what the fuck you would do. So that's why I don't talk bad about anybody who makes the decision to take steroids. How can I? because I'd be a fucking hypocrite if I did. I, I, that, that opportunity was presented to me, I took it, and it fucking, you know, it damn it cost me everything. I don't do it because it, of the experience I had, it fucking made me a fucking loony ass, raving, lunatic, maniac, wanting to kill fucking people, asshole. Now that's why I don't take it. I don't, and, 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 and the biggest reason, I mean, that, that's a super big reason, but the biggest reason is because I promised the good Lord that if he allowed me to stop doing this shit, if he allowed me to get off this shit and, 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 and retain or just get back to where we retain my strength and, and re retain my strength and, and be like I was before I took it, if he allowed me to do that, I promised him that I would never, ever, ever take another steroid again in my life. That's, I mean, real. It, it, I'm a, you know, I'm, why to always I don't play with God. I don't play with God. I'm not the most religious person. I told you why, but I am I seriously believe in God and I, if I make a promise to God, I ain't I ain't thinking about breaking it. Because I you know I'm I, I I super super believe in God. You know, I mean I'd be the most religious person on earth, but I definitely believe in God. So I made him that promise. 34 years and have not broken that promise, man. And that, that experiment lasted about, uh, within it would go every two months or two months, I don't talk about so uh, a little over a year probably. So, but it was probably six months of actually being on. Uh, so it lasted about six months and it, not for me. So, but I don't blame you if you do, but not for me. <laughs>